Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Laser Brain Patch Co.'s series of Every Flavor Jelly Beans pins. Um, I'm trying to collect all of them. My board is primarily Honeydukes themed with the exception of like one Journey to Hogwarts pin, but you can watch my Harry Potter pin collection video to get more information about that. It'll be linked up here in this little space up here. Um, but basically I want all the pins because I think that they make really good board filler and they're just really well made and they're really cute. Um, so they did two series. Series 1 came out in around March and Series 2 just dropped like a week ago. Um, I have some Series one's pin, 1 pins. I have a limited edition pin that they came out with with another pin. Um, again, more information about that in my Harry Potter pin collection video. I have the packaging from Series 1 and then I have these two things to unbox. Um, we'll talk about them in a second. But first, I want to start by talking about Series 1. So I ordered a mystery set of five pins. My five pins came in this little box. It's really, really cute. There's cute little jelly bean stickers on here. Um, trust me, I did try to peel these off and put them like in my sticker book, but they are not budging. Um, I saved this because it's really cute, and I just like to keep a lot of my packaging. Um, I also knew that if I wanted to trade with somebody and like really co complete the collection, I could give them this, and it might just be a nice little touch for someone. Um, and then it also came with this little flavor card to kind of walk you through what flavors you're going to get. So when I ordered these pins, first of all, I wasn't really planning on collecting the whole series. This was kind of when I was like sorting out what I wanted to collect from Harry Potter and what I didn't want to collect. But I knew that these would be really, really cool and I knew that I could trust the pin maker in a way. Like I've bought a bunch of pins from them. They're one of my favorite stores. Um, everything that they ever do is very well made. It's very crafty. It's very pretty to look at. So I wanted to just branch out a little bit. Um, I knew that I wanted Tutti Fruity, Vomit, and Rotten Egg, and also Booger because they're the ones that are like multicolored. And then these are kind of just glittery or glow-in-the-dark variants. Um, I got five of them. I did not get any of the big ones that I wanted. I got one of the big ones I wanted actually, but not really the two I really wanted. I really wanted Tutti Fruity and Vomit mainly because of my childhood experiences, but we've all had a vomit flavored Birdie Bots bean, so you know where I'm getting at there. Um, we're going to talk about the ones that I did get. One of these was limited edition. I'm going to tell you which one, so it's not listed on the flavor card. And then I'll walk you through all the flavors that I did get, and then we'll unbox the other two things that I have over here. So first things first, I have this bean. Um, I think I called it buttered popcorn in my last Harry Potter video, but it is actually rotten egg flavored. Um, it does glow in the dark. The lighter yellow, I believe, is the color that glows in the dark. Um, one of my favorites. The next one is the limited edition bean. I put these down face down so I have to look at them um, in case you were wondering why I'm like, um, I don't really know what they look like at this point. Um, this is the limited edition bean. I don't know what flavor it's supposed to be. Maybe it'll be in the new flavor guide that came with series two, but it's pink. It's like hot, hot pink and it's sparkly. Um, this one is a blueberry pin. It's a kind of darkish blue, also sparkly. In case you were wondering why these weren't really heavily featured in my Harry Potter pin video, it's because they're surrounding another pin on my board and it's really hard to get them back in their original spots. Um, I took them off for this video because I knew I was going to rearrange my board to put the new jelly beans on there too, so just wanted to establish that right now. They normally don't leave my pin board at all because um, it's awful trying to get them to surround this circular pin again because they do have this like cute little you know bean ridge to them so it, if you put them it forms a circle. It makes sense. I can post a picture of it to my Instagram if anybody's wondering about it. I will link my Instagram in the description below so you can follow me there if you don't already. Um, but yeah, this one is just a standard brown jelly bean. It's sausage flavored. I, I'm not sure if it glows in the dark or not. I haven't really looked into that. Um, I should really test it out and see. I know some of these do glow in the dark because I see them glowing in the middle of the night. Um, and I'm like, what is that on my door? But it's just my, my pins. This one is grass flavored. I thought it was green apple originally, but it is not. It's a green pin and it's got glitter on it. Somebody just honked outside. I apologize if you can hear that. Um, and then this one is candy floss. It's a light pink. It's almost like the softer version of the special edition pin. It, it reads almost purple on here, but it is a pink. It is a light pink. It's not like the lavender that I'm seeing on my screen right now. And it's got glitter in it. Um, so moving on, I do want to talk about this little package next. So as I said, there are special edition beans that come with this set. Um, you have to buy them on specific occasions. So for example, this pink pin came with another pin that I had to buy, um, which I was going to buy it anyway because it was a beautifully designed pin. You can see it in my pin video. 
for Harry Potter pin collection. Um, but this one specifically was from a live stream that they did. I think it was the live stream about like how to make a fantasy pin. Um, at the end of the live stream, they were like, you can buy a pin here if you want to buy one. Um, and they've been doing that. I think that's a, a really smart business decision because you do get the exposure and you do get people um, coming into your lives and watching what you're trying to show them. And you also get to sell your pins and people will kind of, they'll jump at that basically. Like I jump at the chance for it. I set reminders for the live streams. I'm really, it's, I'm really extra about it. Um, so I got this one. I'm not sure what flavor it's supposed to be because it wasn't, it didn't come with a card or anything like that. It just came with the bean, but um, it's a black bean and it's got a star and the moon on it. I think it glows in the dark. I do think the white parts glow in the dark. Um, and then the other live stream they did was about like, it was an animal live stream where everybody shared their pets. It was very cute. And the pin that they came out with was the inverse of this. So it was basically like a white bean with black detailing. And that one does glow in the dark really heavily. Um, I don't have it yet. It's actually in my mailbox downstairs, but I can't pick it up because security isn't here to let me get my mail basically. When packages come in, it's a whole process. Um, so it's not gonna be in this video. It will be in my pin mail video that's coming out because I have been getting a lot of pins in the mail. Quarantine has not been good on my bank account, but it has been good on my pin collection. So yeah, so we're just gonna line this one up here. Just put that there. And now, you know, the moment we've all been waiting for, series one and two beans. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a cute little sticker. It says Jelly Beans Laser Brain Patch Co. Um, she's labeled it on the back like series one and series two. I don't want to rip this sticker, but we're gonna just... I'm fine with ripping the packaging, I just don't want to rip the sticker. All right, so we're open. I don't want to look yet, so I just want to reach in and find that, there we go, find the flavor card here. All right, so see, series one, it looks like it stayed the same. Um, there is a label over here that says like oddment and tweak under one of these mystery beans. I'm wondering if like that's what the what the mystery bean that I have is because it's not on. She didn't add it to this card. Um, these do fold in half, which is cool. Oh no, actually it's up here. It's in the series two section. It says Sunset Road. So, okay, maybe I missed one. Oh, did I miss one? I think I might have missed a, a mystery bean. Oh no, I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, but these are the new ones. So I do have this one and this one. Um, they've got cute little names to them. It says like, Calaveria, Sunset Road, Augmenti, Laser Brain, Unicorn Dreams, Berry Hollows, Dirt, Caramel was, Caramel was well, like all was well. Uh, mint, Mermaid, Licorice Sky, Banana, and Black Pepper. Um, I am still kind of gunning for like the ones that I wanted from the first set. Um, maybe this one, if it's like in there, that'd be nice because I did order Series 1 and Series 2. And then for Series 2, I do really want this Laser Brain one because it is a gold pin, which I think is super, super cool. Um, and I'm thinking like Augmenti would be cool and then like Berry Hollows would be really cool. I have this one already, so I really don't want to get that one again. All right, so we'll put the we'll put the flavor guide here so that we can just check it. Facing me would make the most sense, so we can check it. Um, I'm not sure how she did this. I really don't want to peek in here. Okay, so they're all just individually bagged. All the beans are individually bagged, so we're just gonna pull one out. Okay. Oh, oh, yay! That's exciting. Okay, so um, first bean that I pull out, and it's one of the ones that I wanted. It's the gold laser brain patch co pin. Oh, that's so cool. It's got the teeniest, tiniest writing. I don't know if the camera will ever pick up on it, but I'm really, really excited to have it. Um, maybe if I hold it a little bit farther back. There you go. It's very shiny. It's very glittery. It's gold plated too, which is super cool because the other ones were silver plated. I'm taking my pin backs off now because they're just going to go directly on my board when I'm done with this video, but we'll put that one right there. Ooh, we're off to a good start. Let's see. And I spoke too soon. We have a duplicate. Oh man, okay. Well, at least we can trade it. Trading is always fun. Uh, we got another blueberry. So we'll just line this one up next to the other blueberry that we have. Let's see. Ooh, what are you? Oh, I don't know what this is. This might be Evergood, the Evergood merch pin, or it could be the Oddment and Tweak pin, but it is 
I don't know what this is. This is like a like a rainbow metal. I don't know which one this is. It's not on here. So it's got to be one of the two mystery ones. Ooh, okay. Well, you're not going anywhere. We're not trading you away. I mean, either way, I'm like one closer to having all the mystery beans because, you know. Although, see, this is where I'm confused. Like, what if the mystery beans are like the four? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll put this one here. Let's see. Another duplicate. Another candy floss. So we're going to have to get rid of that one, too. I'm going to put my duplicates behind my originals because I don't want to trade my originals away. They have been pulled up off of my cork board. Um, I want to make sure that I know which one is which. Let's rummage a little bit in hopes of some better luck with the Series 1 pins. What is this? Ooh. I think this is black pepper. Yeah, I think this is black pepper. So it's like a silvery one. It's speckled. It's got some dark gray on it, some dark silver. Um, very sparkly, very glittery. I like that I keep getting excited about like the Series 2 pins, but I knew they were new, so I don't know. <laughs> like, there, uh, there's no way I could have had them. I don't know why I keep going like, oh my god. Um, okay, let's see. I want to stand this upright before I pull another one out. All right. Ooh, what are you? Oh, yes! I got the vomit flavored bean. Oh, I'm so excited. That's great. That's really great. I'm really excited. I'm sorry. You can hear my excitement. I don't need to narrate that. But I got the vomit flavored bean. Oh, I just need like tutti frutti and then I'll, I could die happy. What is this? Our sixth bean? This is our sixth bean, right? So we've got four left. So, okay, let's pause for a second. What are we really hoping for? I'm really hoping for Tutti Fruity. I'm really hoping for Berry Hollows. And I think Unicorn Dreams would be cool. Like if those are gonna be like the three that I could really, really hope for, I know that's super unlikely. I know I'll probably get another duplicate of series one, but it doesn't matter because we can trade for those. We can trade them away. Let's see. Cross your fingers, everybody. What do we get? It happened. Oh my god, it happened. I'm so excited. Wait, okay. I got the Tutti Fruity pin. This one might not make it onto my cork board. This might be one that I put on my lanyard and where to work because I love it so, so much. Oh my god. It's so cute. It just got all these little speckles of color and it's sparkly too. Oh, I love that. That's so great. Okay. Put this here. What are we at for series one? So we have one, two, three four, five, six, seven. So I'm only missing like five of the series one pins and a duplicate. We got grass. I think that's it for series one because I do think it was a five and five situation. So um, I will say this one does have a little speck in it. So I might have to trade my original instead of trading this one. You can kind of see where the speck is because I know people when they trade, they want perfect pins and I that's not a perfect pin. I don't really care if it's perfect or not, but, you know. Ooh, okay, so we got Calavaria, or Calavaria. I'm not really sure what that word means. Don't crucify me in the comments, please. I didn't really grow up on Harry Potter. I'm just learning about it now. You know, strict parents be like. Um, but it's this blue, glittery, speckled pin. Very, very, very cute. Um, kind of like a take on the um, blueberry pin itself, but just with, like, extra colors. Put this with my Series 5. And then the last one. What do we want the last one to be? I really want berry hollows. Okay. Are we ready? It's in my hand. Are we ready? Here, I'll show you guys first. Before I scream over it. What is it? What is it? Tell me what it is. What are you? Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a series one pin. This is Booger. Oh. Okay. I was not expecting that, but... Okay, I'm fine with that. That's cool, because now I've gotten all the multicolored beans that I wanted from Series 1, so now I only have to trade for cherry, watermelon, soap, and earwax, which is easy because I've got these three generic ones that I can trade for. Okay, I'm going to have to get my hands on more Series 2 beans. Um, I'm not mad about it. I'm actually really, really excited. I love this one. Um, I do want to get some answers about, like, Oddmit and Tweak and Evergood merch on here. Like, I want to know if this is the Evergood merch pin or if it's just, like, a mystery bean. Um, but, yeah, not a bad collection to have. So these are my traders. Let me 
this one, this one, this one. These are my traders. And then these are the ones that I'm keeping, obviously. Um, that's really, really exciting. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I did that wrong. These go here. And these go here. So yeah, here's my full collection of beans right now. Um, I do have to get my hands on more Series 2 beans, but I'm not mad about it. Look at how much of Series 1 I've really just got down already, you know? Okay, so um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you have anything nice to say, leave it in the comments below. Please don't leave anything negative in the comments below because I'm an Aries and I will snap back on you super fast. Um, if you like this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful, magical day. Thank you.